Hello guys, it's delta 249 here with a tutorial on capturing your screen with Cam Studio. It's free and open source, which is good. You don't have to pay for it. Um, so, you can get it at camstudio.org and about halfway down the page, you have camstudio20.exe. Go ahead and download that. It takes about two seconds. And you have your codex here. Uh, you don't have to get this, but I'm going to be... That's what I use, and I'll be showing you stuff about that. So if you want to get that, then download that. And it's good codec, too, for video recording. <clears throat> okay, and once you download it, come back, and I'll be in the program. All right, guys, I'm back in the program, and you'll see you have your file menu with record, stop, and pause, and also exit. Uh, there are hotkeys for the recording, stopping, and pausing. But I'll get to that later. <clears throat> you all, uh, I forgot you have all your buttons here and your view toggling, which you got your three views here. Um, you have your screen annotation dialog, so there's a whole bunch of screen annotations. So if you go whoop, and you bring it up here, you got edit text, and I don't know. Go. Why isn't letting me select it? Really? Don't. Okay, well, let's try a different one. Oh, wow. I'm such an idiot. It's over here. Okay, sorry about that. <clears throat> so you can say, like, hi, YouTube, or something like that, and then close it. Or you can change the font. Bring that in here. Uh, I don't know. Botfia or whatever that is. I don't know. I didn't even see. I just kind of changed it. But yeah, you can change. Ooh. You can. Uh, there's a whole bunch of them. So if you want to give like a you know little tutorial or click me or something like that, do that. <clears throat> and so it doesn't get in my way. All right. So <clears throat> sorry. Uh, you can. Toggle AVI or flash mode so the, it'll either save an AVI. See how it says record to AVI, record to Swift. So if you want to like, put it on a website or something, you can record to Swift. And then you can, if you want to upload it to YouTube or anywhere else, which you can also do it on a website, but just saying. <clears throat> then you can record to AVI. And you've got your buttons for recording, pausing, and stopping. In region, you can capture a selected region so. You know, you select it. <clears throat> Fixed region, which is usually what I use. Uh, you select it here, and you select what you want. <clears throat> and then you've got fixed top left corner. So the top, the uh, top left corner can't be changed. And then drag corners to pan. And you know, you just select what you want. <clears throat> then you have full screen, which just record your entire screen. That's what I use usually for tutorials. In video options, you have your <clears throat> compressor, your codec, you've got the quality, the frames, which if you hit auto adjust, if you uncheck auto adjust, you can change all that. And you have all your different codecs depending on what you you have installed on your computer. And the quality I didn't change. It's on 70 and it works pretty well. <clears throat> then you have your about. Just, you know, website, who made it. Configure, got some advanced settings for the encoding. And cursor options. <clears throat> you can have it hide your cursor completely. You can show the cursor with what you're using, actually, you know, like I'm using this thing right here, using this cursor. Or you can uh, have it look different in the video and use one of these windows loaded ones or you can if you have cursors on your computer cursor files then you can use that highlight cursor you, uh, you can have a circle <clears throat> you can make it as big and small as you want you can have an ellipse a square and a rectangle and you can change the color if you like red looks nice <clears throat> and 
Now, if you don't want to record any audio, like no microphone or speakers, just check do not record audio. <clears throat> if you want to record from your microphone, check record from microphone. And if you want to record from your speakers, or record your speakers, like what the sound that's coming out of your computer, then you can check that. And you can't do both, so just one thing to think about. I don't usually use this computer sound while using my microphone with this program, so <clears throat> I don't really have a problem with it. And in audio options, you got your microphone options, your uh, your quality, your compressing format, interleave, and MCI recording, which I honestly have no idea what it is. And if you go into help, it brings up this page is not there. And speakers, same thing, device, <clears throat> playback volume, and recording line. I really never change any of this except for maybe the device. Um, <clears throat> and then in audio and video synchronization, I'd say, I don't know, you're talking before you're doing something and you want to shift the audio. You can, how much you want, bleh, wow, you can select how much time you want it to be shifted by, and I usually talk while I'm doing stuff, so I just don't shift the audio at all. You have your auto pan, uh, so if your cursor is in one place for a second, well, for more than a second, like, you know, you keep it there and it goes, it'll pan, so maybe there's text that's kind of small, you can read it. Auto pan speed, the speed so it doesn't go really fast or something or really slow. Uh, program options, minimize program on start recording. So when you start recording, it'll minimize it. Uh, so if it's open and you hit that button there, it'll just minimize the program. Hide flashing rectangle during recording. So if you're recording a fixed region or a region, it'll <clears throat> there's a rectangle around it and it'll flash but if you don't want that to show just check that it just kinda shows you that it's recording um, save settings on exit so anything you change will be saved and then next time you open it it'll be the same capture translucent and layered windows so if uh, I'm trying to explain this so <clears throat> if see the arrow thing if there's something behind it it'll capture that or it'll capture like the arrow part of that <clears throat> Windows arrow if you're wondering what arrow is play AVI file and recording stops um, so if you when you save it it'll automatically open in this cam studio player thing that they it comes with the, com the program um, I don't really use it so I would just select that <clears throat> and you can also have it open with whatever your default player is on your system. You have your temporary directory for recording. So when you're recording, it's got to save it somewhere. It doesn't work uh, with your RAM. It just saves it. So I just use the you know temp folder on Windows, which is default. You can use um, where Cam Studio was installed, or you can just use wherever you want. Uh, thread priority so if you've ever seen in your task manager there's priority it's basically that so you know how much of your resources it can take up name of AVI file uh, ask for a file name when you stop recording it'll ask you what you want to call it or automatic file naming it will use the date and time so it's kind of it's not like human-ish kinda of all these numbers so I just use ask for file name and troubleshoot then record to flash options as I showed you before you can record to Swift <clears throat> and here's just some options so you can preview it when it's done you can um, delete the it has to create an AVI file and you can delete that as soon as you're done recording and you can display the options for it keyboard shortcuts so you have uh, record pause key stop key cancel recording key next layout key so um, those screen annotations I was showing you you can create layouts 
<clears throat> and so you know you can have one layout say something and then you can, you know you can press the key and change and go back previous layout and you can hide the uh, screen annotations and I don't know why they're all none right now but <clears throat> I'll fix that later okay and that's about it for this menu now you have screen annotations as I showed you it's just this thing video annotations so you can capture your webcam if you want and I'm just gonna hit cancel and Swift producer so that's how you convert your AVI files to flash um, <coughs> if you didn't select the record to Swift and you have your different views I'm not gonna go through that because you can't really get it back without closing the program and in help <coughs> you just have help the website frequency blah, wow FAQ donations and about which there you go and that's about it so if you have any questions leave a comment below and make sure you go check out my channel for more tutorials reviews gaming and yeah if you have any requests I always take requests then either personal message me private message me whatever you want to call it or leave a comment and that's about it.